Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to figure out how often you should publish. As far as like stories and stuff go and novels go, I don't really edit my short stories or novels either. But here's the thing, like if you do that, you can revise stuff for eternity. Like you could keep revising the same fucking thing over and over and over and over and over again. And I always tell people, content is king. If you want to be able to do writing as more than a hobby, you need to be putting stuff out. You can't be like freaking out about, oh my God, I hope this is really good. And honestly, if you only have one story in you, then maybe you shouldn't be writing anyway. And that's pretty fucking harsh. But this, I'm going to try to illustrate this for you. If you finish this great novel and you like spend years editing it and making it the best it could be, and then you put that out, if you don't have anything to follow that book up with, that book is going to sink. In today's market, in today's algorithm, the way books are sold today. And a lot of this is based on Amazon. And like big publishers base their sales on Amazon because Amazon's the biggest bookseller in the world. There's this thing called the 30 day cliff. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And at different times over the years, Amazon has said it's not real, it doesn't happen. Sometimes it's more like a three week cliff. Okay. But. If people are digging your work, Amazon's going to push that work for about 30 days. And then after 30 days, they'll probably start to see a bit of diminishing returns. So instead of trying to push that book harder, what Amazon is going to do is just pretend that book never happened. So you're going to have all these sales and then nothing. Okay. And then hopefully someone will review your book and it gets a lot of eyes on it. And then maybe the sales will start coming up again. But it's never going to have that same push that it did when that book was new. Because that's the other thing Amazon does. They push new shit. The only way that Amazon is going to continue to push something that like is old is if there's another title out by that same author and now if someone buys that amazon's like oh you liked this well check this out this is something and that's how they do it that's why so many people put books out like every three weeks or a month not and there are a lot of writers who do this and i know for some of you that might seem crazy but it's the truth. And they do this in order to make money, to like be able to live as a writer and not work a shit job that they fucking hate. And yes, your writing will get better the more that you write. And yes, there will probably be errors found in your book. But the great thing about Amazon is that when you find those errors, fix them and re-upload. And then everyone who had that book in their Kindle it's gonna to change to the version that you just put up. So the errors will not be there anymore. You see what I'm saying? People just get so fucking hung up on, like it's gotta be perfect and it's gotta be the best. That's probably how it was 30 years ago. Fuck, even 20 years ago. But that's not how it is now. Traditional publishing is fucking tanking. And we say this every year, like this is the year that traditional publishing goes out of business and, and it's never going to happen. I will say this too, and this is why big companies are merging together, but not only is their market shrinking, but they're fucking, and I think this is what pisses them off more than anything, their authority over the literary world is fucking dwindling and the the public traditional publishing will probably always be there okay until the world burns down because there's way too many fucking rich white guys that need to make sure that they could keep paying for their yachts and all this shit but within our lifetime 
the publishing dynamic is probably going to completely change three or four more times, okay? And each time, traditional publishing is gonna be the last one to the party. Just saying. So anyway, everybody, if you dug this, crack them thumbs, type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.